Hello everyone, I'm back with another uh, video and in this video we have an ASUS WAG laptop. The exact model for this one is an ASUS WAG GL503VD model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can increase the performance of this laptop by just replacing the solid state drive that they come in here and what are the variation of the hard drive storage you can have in here and the capacity for those. Just remember, before you do any upgrade on your main storage, you might want to back up your files because as soon as you put the new storage in here, you have to reinstall the Windows. I made a really short video how to install your Windows USB, uh, how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. And I made another video how to install it on your ASUS laptop. It's really easy, pretty much. Once you put the new SSD in here, it's going to be virgin, nothing in it. So. Just plug in your bootable USB, power on, and it's gonna look into the hard drive. It's not gonna find any Windows, and it's gonna look down to your USB drive, and it's gonna have a Windows, and it's gonna take you out to Windows installation steps. And check any of my Windows 10 installation steps and follow those guides to get the most clean way of your Windows installed without having all those browsers installed once you uh, purchase your laptop. Those type of candy crush. So I'll leave those links in the video description in case you need to and you don't know how to install your windows. All right, in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys what other uh, variation you can have. So first thing first, back up your files, rip uh, your files, power off the laptop, make sure you're completely powered off. I'm gonna go over the tools I'll be using. I fix the screwdriver set, as they have one of the best screws, screw bits out there. These are from, made out of S2 class steel bit. Those are really tough at the steel. And you uh, use the basic set. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. We're gonna, on the bottom cover, we're gonna remove the middle rubber leg here by placing the opening tool right on the edge and pretty much lift it up. It has another adhesive, it should come out pretty easy. If your adhesive is not sticky anymore, just put a double-sided tape. Don't put super glue or anything like that. You're going to see a single screw down here. We're going to remove this tiny screw. Now, I can stick my fingernail in there to lift it up. So I'll break it. I'm going to use the guitar pick. Stick it right in there between the cover and bring it up. Once I have a little up, I'll put my finger right there. And up and down, let it wiggle it, and it will release the service cover. All right, down here, I can see right away there's an SSD M.2 and there's a mechanical drive 2.5 inch right over here. All right, so let's start first with the mechanical drive. To remove the mechanical drive, it's been, the hard drive is being held down by a caddy. Caddy is a bracket, metal bracket that holds the hard drive in place so it doesn't move around. Has a four screws, one, two, three, four. So of course you wanna remove these four screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. Right, now that we remove this one, you want to lift it up. Just with a tiny hand, plastic hold, use that one to lift it up slowly but there's a tension on the cable. Once you brought it up, you slide it towards the back end and then bring it up like that. And then you want to untangle this cable right in here. So you just untangle it. You don't need to disconnect it. Once you brought it like this, and you just want to grab this connector and pull it away. And then you have your hard drive disconnected. This one takes a low profile and thick profile hard drives. So we have a thick profile mechanical drives. And then we have a low profile mechanical drives, which are like a, this one, tiny ones. And this one is a regular like thicker. So this, this laptop takes both of them. To remove the caddy, there's a little warranty label right in here. You want to rip that. There's a screw right in here, it's screw, two screws on the side, two screws on here. So what you want to do is remove these two screw, four screws and then grab you another hard drive. This is one terabyte. You can grab up to two terabyte mechanical drive. You can put it right in there and place, make sure the orientation for the connectors are facing the same way. So don't put it down on the caddy the other way around. Otherwise, you have to twist this cable, which will be impossible. So bring it like that, put it like this, remove these two screws, these two, remove and put the hard drive. Now, you can put a 2 terabyte mechanical drive in here, or 
you can just grab a two terabyte solid state drive. So the transfer from the main storage to the extra storage will be tremendously, horribly fast. So I would recommend to go a two terabyte. The good brand will be a Samsung Evo or Samsung Pro, Samsung Evo or Samsung Pro version of the hard drives that are really durable. And so I'll put a, a two terabyte SSD right in here you can put. Again, SSDs are the same thing as a mechanical drive. They have the same screw holes goes in there. So you can upgrade that one for extra storage. Just remember this is a SATA connector. So if you put a solid state drive, it's gonna push the SATA bandwidth to its maximum speed, All right? So you wanna tangle this cable right there. And then you wanna put the four screws right on the caddy. This is for demonstration. I'm not actually upgrading, but you can do it. You can put a two terabyte mechanical drive or two terabyte solid state drive. And as I just mentioned it, SSD, these are SATA connectors, SATA, SATA 3. So that means there's a limit of bandwidth in here, speed that you can have. So that with the solid state drive, you're gonna uh, get it to the maximum that you can reach. Now, down on the M.2 drive in here, down on the M.2 drive, you're gonna see there's a tiny screw right in here. Yours will be a black color or this is a chrome color. You wanna remove that the screw. This hard drive just comes up in 45 degree angle. Just like that. And then you wanna slide it out in the same direction backwards, just like that. And right away that I can see that this hard drive, this SSD is an M.2, but it's a SATA version. That means this is at the same speed as a regular SATA SSD, which you can plug in on here. But this motherboard does support an NVMe M.2, so I highly, which is like about five, six times faster than this SATA connector. So grab yourself a NVMe drive in here. Yeah, a good NVMe brand would be, again, a Samsung 980 Pro. These are really good. They have only one notch on them or you can put whichever you, you wish, depending on how much you want to spend. In this case, I have a Kingston, if I can find it. I have a Kingston somewhere over here. Yeah. I have a Kingston SSD, which one notch right on top. Doesn't matter how many notch you have. You want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, and then bring it down. Make sure that a screw hole right there is nice and snugly right between the board. And then you want to just twist the screw and firmly in place. And that's how you can install a bigger capacity. You can install a two terabyte if you want, a two terabyte NVMe drive in here and put your windows in here. And you're going to see the difference from this SSD M.2 from an NVMe drive once you put your new windows installed in here. All right. Now that you installed uh, both of them, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover. Make sure the back end, this side goes down right in the connector here on the corner. And then you wanna push the side, but you wanna hear those click sounds right there. And the last thing down here would be to just put the tiny screw right on top and put the rubber leg right over. And there we have it. And this is how you can upgrade your ASUS ROG GL 503 VD model. This is the storage upgrade. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.